Hello and welcome for this week's uh, soap review. Today I'm going to review a nice sample of, from uh, Declaration, Declaration Grooming Dark Fall. And it's uh, according to the name, it's a dark soap as well. It's quite hard soap. Um, this one costs for four ounces uh, 24 dollar euros and um, four ounces is 125 gram <clears throat> it's mostly um, natural ingredients in this soap except for the fragrance and uh, some other one unnecessary chemical in my opinion but it's completely loaded with all kinds of tallow there is out there and the goat's milk and the different oils, so it has a lot of good ingredients in this soap. <coughs> I have uh, uh, sent this soap, I wanted to review it a few days ago, but I got sick, very very sick, in a man cold. And everyone who watched this, who is a man, know that a man cold, you're practically dead, so I've been in bed for two days. I feel a little bit better today, so I can... Um, sand this soap uh, properly here. Um, when you smell it, it's a very woody uh, scent. It's a fresh, heavy, spicy scent at the same time. It's a very, very elegant. And you can see in the description below uh, what the scent profile is. It's agar wood. Bun, so in and amber, very nice ingredients, and there's also cinnamon here. What I pick up here is uh, mostly the bun, so in and the cinnamon. Very, very nice, uh, dark, spicy scent, indeed. Uh, sound strength is about medium, a little bit above, maybe. So, um, that's the soap we're gonna review today, and uh, I have smeared out quite a lot of it here in my scuttle and it's a big scuttle too and it's a lot of soap and I think I take here uh, at least three times more soap or four times more soap than I usually do because uh, I'm gonna try a new brush today and it's a monster I got this on mail yesterday from uh, my good friend uh, Yongju in uh, South Korea. Thank you very very much. It's a uh, Mancurian silver tip badger and it's enormous. It's a 30 millimeter knot. Um, he bought this uh, knot and the handle separately and he glued it together and wanted to send this to me in exchange for some Swedish candy that I sent to him and he was very happy for that. Uh, that's what he wanted. Yeah. So here it is. It's a monster and I don't know. I never been close to have such a big knot to shave with. But I suspect this one eats leather a lot because it's like a billion bristles in here. It's very very danced. Um, so this will be interesting to try. That's why I have so much soap here. That's what we're gonna use and the razor and the razors, sorry, gonna be the fatip because I think I have four or five days of growth here. It will be the fatip for the first two passes with the Titan Dorku blade, Dorku Titan blade, sorry, with the fourth use of this one. It's a blade that I found work very nice in both a mild and aggressive razor. But it's probably on its last use today. And um, the last pass I'm gonna do with the best razor available on the market today. And it's the Gillette Mac 3 Turbo. And it will be the 12th use of this blade. Quite impressive. Because I want to have a complete BBS shave today and I'm gonna go against the grain with this one because I don't want any weepers or cuts. Uh, I'm gonna finish off with uh, Lagerfeld Classic EDT. 
that's all. Let's start. I'm gonna wet my face. And we're gonna lather up this soap together with this monstrous brush. It's good to be feel a little bit better today, finally, after this. Oh, how, how can so small virus set a big body like this in bed? Not be able to do anything. Virus are very powerful indeed. Okay, we wet this one now. And it probably holds a ton of water this one. I'm gonna start carefully. I never, it's so big. I have a very big scuttle and it almost takes up everything in here. I wonder if this gonna work at all. It's actually too big. I can do very well with the 20, 22 millimeter is my favorite actually. And this is eight millimeter bigger. Yeah. Add some water here. You have to bear with me guys. If you're impatient, you can fast forward a little bit. Because I want this to be a nice leather. I owe my friend that. And I owe this badger offer this life to be a shaving brush. Now when I have been using a few badgers for the first time, the last month here. I um, I would say that it's no difference with the badger and the very good uh, synthetic. It's the same feeling completely. Nothing is better with a badger. They are only more expensive, and you have to take care of them. In a different way, so it's more work with them as well. This doesn't go as fast as it usually does because the knot eat up the ladder here. You can see that it starts to look like something now, something like ladder. I continue a little bit because I think it's a enormous amount of soap inside the knot now. Here comes the peaks. And we are ready to go. What do you think? It's not so uh, incredibly important. If you have, uh, if you whip your ladder for minutes, it doesn't really matter in the shave. For your beginners, practically you can whip the soap for 15 seconds and shave with it. If you, it's a, if there is a glide in the soap, it's there anyway. You don't have to fight and whip and have absolutely no air bubbles in the, the ladder because it doesn't make any difference in the end anyway. That's my experience anyway. So I'm happy with this leather now. Very nice. Very prominent sound here of wood. Now the wood taking over completely here. I don't sense any cinnamon at all. I don't know really how agar wood is supposed to sound, smell, but maybe it's that. Or it's a very high amount of benzene in here. You cannot really tell that. But it's a very spicy 
kind of orient orientalic sound very warm this brush feels very nice And as you can see I have a fantastic leather here I'm gonna see if I can add some water here I guess this brush can take a liter of water just gonna wet the leather here more on the neck here. So we are ready to go. So this shade will take maybe more than 15 minutes because I'm not in the shape to have any rush today. If you are impatient you can fast forward to the end where I do a summary. Or you can just read uh, the description below as well. There we go, first pass. The most beautiful razor out there is this one, but also the one with the slippers handle in the history, unfortunately. Just a little bit of soap on your hands, fingers, or on the handle, and you can't hold the razor at all. It's like a monster, it takes down any growth just like nothing. <clears throat> It's a very good glide. If you like woody scented soaps, this is the one for you, I can tell you. The whole bathroom smells now. <clears throat> It feel very good today with this aggressive
I can officially announce that uh, spring arrived here to Sweden now. A few days ago it started to be around 10 degrees and uh, some flowers already come up. Crocus, if you're familiar with that. But it's very very windy here, almost storm in the in the wind. Been that for several days now. For crying out loud, this uh, brush covers all my chin here. I forgot that I have tons of leather here. Time for round two with a masterpiece satip. So Flash Gordon uses, not Flash Gordon, Flash Bordon, <laughs> you should have, <laughs> Flash Gordon is a better name for you, Graham. He was using his Fatip, I was planning to use another razor today, but I changed my mind, just for this video. should mention any residual slickness I say it's very good not surprisingly because declaration grooming the soaps have excellent glide and slickness I just think that a soap that cost 24 dollars euros should be all natural I wouldn't buy this soap for that price. It doesn't matter how many oils and tallows there are in there. Because I have used many, 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 many soaps with only three, four, five natural ingredients that provides the same e excellent shave as this one do and they have been all natural as well this one is not for 24 dollars I expect essential oils in the soap not fragrance only <coughs> but that's me there is no doubt that this is a very good soap, it performs fantastic and nothing else was taken. Now I must try to get out the ladder of this monster here. Oh my god, I could shave all my body with this one. No. I'm gonna do the pass that sent me to BBS heaven with no effort or with no cuts or with no weepers. Hopefully, even on its um, 12th use, we will see.
this brush I think you have the most use of when you have a head shaver, these big knots. <coughs> they are a little bit too big for me on my face. But nevertheless, it's a fantastic knot and it performs really well in every aspect, so I'm very happy for this brush, of course. I will use it. Here we go. Against the grain on the neck. Here's the reason why I can never get the BBS shade with a shellette with a straight tracer because uh, it's impossible to go in this direction with a shellette or a straight. That's and that's the reason why I don't use them. I could do a pass or two with them and finish up with this one. Maybe I should start with that. If someone wants to see that, you can write that in the comments. But I'm never gonna do a third pass with a shellette anyway. I could leave that to this one. can hear how much stubble there is left when you can operate this razor that you could never do with any other D razor. You cannot press like this because then it would peel your face off. But this one really comes down in the skin. And no, I don't get any irritation at all after I shade with this one. So it's another myth outside, out there, floating around. I had never had any irritation with the, this one. On the other hand, I had very much irritation with the D eraser and not to mention Chevette. Looks like the neck is burning sometimes. Post chair for hours. Let's see what we miss. If there is anything. <laughs> Even here where I never get clean shaven it took. Just a little little area here. Very very nice. Just take some water here. It's like a swirl I have here I need to attack from every dire direction to get
Wow. Well, I can happily announce that I'm complete BBS. Okay, I'm gonna rinse and I'll be back with the conclusion. This soap contains so many good things for the skin, as you can see in the description below. So I'm not gonna take any aftershave ball. I'm just gonna take some um, witch hazel here. Because it feels good for the skin. Especially on the neck. I had uh, zero irritation during the shave with this soap. It just felt very nice. And you got that uh, interaction with the bladder on your face with this soap. <coughs> it felt very good. And it was an excellent performer in every way. And uh, if you're into woody, spicy, orientalic kind of scents, this is the soap for you, that's for sure. Uh, there's a lot of wood there, spicy, warm, very nice indeed. Uh, Lagerfeld Classic. So, I guess it's a soap I can recommend. I wouldn't buy it though, because I expect more <coughs> an all natural soap with essential oils for that price, but. Nevertheless, a very, very good soap with a very elegant uh, scent indeed. Uh, the blade hold up for its fourth use very well in the fatip. Uh, very, very good blade. One of my favorite blades, actually this one. But now I'm going to retire it. Um, I had a complete BBS shave and the best shave I had for a long time. The Fatip and uh, the Gilat Mach 3 Turbo really paired up well together, that's for sure. Uh, thank you very much, my friend, for sending me this brush, water brush. And I uh, noticed that I didn't have to take so much extra soap, even though it's a much bigger knot, as you can see. This is the brush I normally use, it's synthetic. And it's an enormous difference between them. 21 millimeter, I think this one is, or 22, I don't remember. And this one is 30 because I just measured it. Fantastic, thank you very much. And what a beautiful handle as well. Okay guys, that was all for today. And uh, I have tons of soaps waiting here. And I have uh, tons of blades that I never even tried. So uh, I'm going to try to speed this up a little bit with the blade reviews and soap reviews, vice versa. So i see you soon. Wish you all a great weekend and uh, take care out there. Bye bye.